By now in this chapter, we have already understood the most basic concepts so related to plants. the classification of kingdom plant. How is a plant cell different from an animal cell? Yes, you got it correct. The plant For cell has, this a, gives has me a two pairs of vertical opposite angles. The first pair is the sentence angle is AOC and angle BOD. Affirmative means a positive sentence. The tag is a negative tag. For example, the ray of light passes through the center of curvature, it will always retrace the same path after reflection from the one camera. Hello students, today we are going to learn about classification of plants. But before moving forward the topic, we look at the broad classification of living organisms as we have already done the five kingdom classification. So living organisms are classified into two types, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells meaning they have the primitive nucleus. They do not have a membrane bound nuclear membrane. For example, we have the kingdom Monera under it. Example, the bacteria as you see in the diagram. The nuclear material is not bound by a nuclear membrane. Eukaryotic cells have a membrane bound organelles and also their nucleus have a well defined nuclear membrane. As you see in the diagram, the nuclear material has a membrane bound nuclear membrane. Further eukaryotic cells are divided into two types depending upon the number of cells they comprise. That is unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. In unicellular organism, it is a single cell which carries out all the functions, whereas in multicellular organisms, more than one cells are involved. Under unicellular organism, we have the kingdom Protista, example Amoeba and Euglena. Multicellular organisms also differ whether they have a cell wall or they do not have a cell wall. Example of the organisms which have a cell wall is the kingdom Plantae and kingdom Fungi. What is the difference between them? Kingdom plantae are autotrophs, meaning they prepare their own food with the help of sunlight and CO2. Whereas fungi, they are heterotrophs, meaning they do not prepare their own food and they depend upon other organisms for their nutrition. Multicellular organisms without the cell wall comprise of the kingdom animalia. For example, we the animals. Here we complete off with the five kingdom classification. But today we are going to learn more in detail about only the kingdom plantae. So further we move about the classification of kingdom plantae. How is a plant cell different from an animal cell? Yes, you got it correct. The plant cell had a, has an additional cell wall apart from the cell membrane, which is absent in the animal cell. Also the plant cell has chloroplast because of which it is able to synthesize its own food, whereas the animal cell cannot. What points are being considered while classifying the kingdom plantae? Whether the, the absence or presence of particular organs in the plants, the absence or presence of separate conducting tissues, the absence and presence of seeds. If seeds are present, are they enclosed in a fruit or not? And the number of cotyledons in the seeds. Taking all these points into consideration, we classify the kingdom plantae into broadly two categories, cryptogams and phanerograms. Cryptograms are those classes of plants which do not have flowers, seeds and fruit, whereas the phanerograms have flower, seeds and fruits. Depending upon the different characteristics they show, cryptogams are divided into three divisions, thallophyta, bryophyta and pteridophyta. Whereas the phanerograms are divided into two divisions, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms have naked seeds, that is, they are not enclosed in a fruit, whereas angiosperms, they have covered seeds, that is, they are enclosed in a fruit. Angiosperms are further divided into two types, dicotyledon and monocotyledon. The fruits having dicotyledons have two cotyledons in the seeds, whereas those with a monocotyledon have a single cotyledon in the seed. Further, we look into detail of each of its division, studying their characteristics and different examples. We move ahead with the description of cryptogams. The first division under cryptogams is thallophyta. What is the meaning of thallophyta? Thallo meaning the plant body without root, stem and leaves. Phyta meaning a plant. 
what are their characteristics they grow in water that is fresh as well as saline water they have been divided into two subdivisions algae and fungi algae are autotrophs because they contain chlorophyll also they can be unicellular as well as multicellular algae are microscopic that is you can observe it only under the microscope or rather they can be macroscopic as well that is you can observe it with the naked eye they have a soft and fiber like body thus they fall under the division of thallophyta the examples of algae are spirogyra and alva fungi fungi does not contain chlorophyll thus they are heterotrophs the example of fungi are yeast and mold how do we observe algae under microscope we take the green slush from the pond place it on the glass plate put some drops of water and wash it some strands of those are been extracted and spread on a glass slide put some drops of water and cover with a cover slip and observe it under the microscope this is the image that you observe under the microscope the second division of cryptogams is bryophyta what is the meaning of bryophyta bryo meaning moss and phyta meaning a plant you all must have noticed some green lush in the monsoon season on the rocks and the walls what are these these are nothing but the plants belong into the bryophyta division what are their characteristics they are known as the amphibians of the plant kingdom now can you guess why are they known as the amphibians yes you got it correct they live on land but they need water for reproduction also they contain thylloid they are multicellular and autotrophic they reproduce by the spore formation and they do not have conducting tissues that is there is no xylem and phloem their structure consists of a flat and ribbon like fiber they do not have true stem and leaves but they have structures resembling like stem and leaves and also they have root like structures which are known as rhizoids the examples of bryophyta are moss funaria and also merchantia we look to one of the example that is funaria you can have a look that it contains stem and leaf like structures and root like structures which are known as rhizoids so we move ahead with the description of third division of cryptogam that is pteridophyta pterid meaning fern and phyta meaning a plant so you all must have noticed a fern plant which is an ornamental plant in a garden they have small brown spores on the posterior part of their leaves these are the ferns which belong to the division pteridophyta they have well developed roots stem and leaves also they have a well developed conducting system which is xylem and phloem these plants do not bear flowers and fruit they reproduce by two means asexually and sexually asexually they reproduce by spore formation and sexually they reproduce by zygote formation that is the fusion of the male and the female gamete the examples of pteridophyta are ferns like nephrolepis teris and lycopodium let's move ahead with the another classification of plants which is phanerogams the plants having special features for reproduction and they produce seeds come under the phanerogams depending upon whether the seeds are covered or naked phanerogams have further divided into two division the first division consists of gymnosperms and the second division consists of angiosperms let's have a look upon the characteristics of the gymnosperms so you all must have noticed a cycas tree having a crown like leaf and a small cone in the middle these cycas belong to the division gymnosperm gymno meaning naked and sperms meaning seeds yes they have naked seeds also they are evergreen perennial meaning they are long lasting and they are woody these plants have a single stem without any branches they have leaves which form a crown which we have already seen in the image their seeds are not covered also the male and the female flowers are on the same plant but they are on different sporophylls they do not form fruits as their seeds are not covered the examples of gymnosperms are cycas picea which is a christmas tree let's have a look upon the characteristics of angiosperms angiosperms angio meaning covered sperms meaning seeds so they have a seeds which are covered in a fruit 
they have flowers that bear the reproductive organs the flower further forms the fruits which contain the seeds angiosperms are divided into two types dicotyledonous plants and monocotyledonous plants let's have a look upon how these two plants are differentiated the seeds of the dicotyledonous plants have two cotyledons the seeds of the monocotyledonous plants have single cotyledon the roots of the dicotyledonous plants form a taproot system the root of the monocotyledonous plants form fibrous root system the stem of the dicotyledonous plants is strong and hard for example that of an banyan tree the stem of the monocotyledonous plants can be hollow for example that of a bamboo tree can be false for example of a banana tree can be disc like for example that of an onion the leaf of the dicotyledonous plants have reticulate venation the leaf of the monocotyledonous plants have parallel venation the flower of the dicotyledonous plants are with four or five parts or in their multiple that is tetrameres or pentrameres the flower of the monocotyledonous plants are with three parts or in multiple of three that is trimeres